That's right. Women today don't know that it's wrong to wish up God bareheaded. Mm -hmm. They're innocent victims. Mm -hmm. They taught the preachers ignorantly tell them, well, the Bible say your hair is your covering. Don't just quote it. Tell me what it means. What it mean? That's what right. do the word covering mean? That's right. Huh? Mm -hmm. Cause covering don't mean covered. That's right. That's right. You got three words there in the book of First Corinthians, chapter First Corinthians, chapter eleven. You got uncovered, covered, covering. That's right. Three words. That's right. So don't just quote to the women. Yeah, hair is your covering. Your covering. What is covering? That's right. You see what I mean by analyzing the Bible? That's it. I want this to be good for you, UPC file. <laughs> Are you devil out of hell? Women going to hell bareheaded. Yeah. And the preacher says, well, your hair is your covering. You don't need nothing on your head. That's a lie. That's a lie to hell. First Corinthians chapter 11. Follow me in your Bible. I want to take you to Bible school tonight. Tonight. First Corinthians chapter 11. We'll start at verse 3. Follow me. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. I want you to know the head of every man is Christ. And the head of the woman is the man. The head of the woman is, is the man. And the head of Christ is God. Let's analyze that. Mm -hmm. so I don't believe in just reading. I got to take it apart. That's right. In case I got an undercover Trinitarian here. That's right. The head of every man is God. The head of Christ. every man. And the head of every man is Christ. Give chapter and verse again. First Corinthians chapter 11. We're at verse 3. The head of every man is what? Is Christ. The head of every man is the son of God. The every, head of every man the head is Christ. Of every man is Christ. The head of every man is the Son of God. Mm -hmm. You see, the Son of God, when he walked this earth, even his flesh and blood was superior to all other men. That's right. Because everybody was born in the world with sin, shaped to iniquity, but not him. That's right. Uh -uh. That body was a perfect sacrifice. That body was perfect and fallible, and it was made as an offering without spot, without blemish, to take away the sins of creation. That's right. So the Lord that walked this earth, Jesus was the head of all men. Amen. And, and the head of the woman is the man. And the head of the woman is the man. That's why the man was made first. Mm -hmm. And then the woman came from the man. That's right. And, and, and the head of Christ is God. And the head of what? And the head of Christ is God. That means the head of the Son of God was the Spirit. That's right. Or the head of the flesh was the Spirit. Right. The head of that body was the Spirit. That's why the body was called the Son of the highest. The Spirit was the highest life, and the Son, which is the flesh, was a life lower than the Spirit. That's right. Your flesh is lower than the nature of God. Mm -hmm. All right. Every man praying or prophesying. Listen at this. Every man, Every man praying, praying, or, praying or, prophesying, or prophesying, having his head covered, having something on his head, dishonoreth his head. Now you foolish, hellish, devil-deceived bishops, mm -hmm. elders, and evangelists, you mean to tell me, are you that dumb? You think Paul was going around <laughs> preaching to put hair on your head? Lord. <laughs> Every man praying a you prophesy. You think Paul was preaching, putting hair on your head? Mm. Some of you do it, you go to Walgreens. That's right. CBS, <laughs> you don't like the hair that God gave you, so you go buy some. Mm. Uh-huh, you can't even match it right. I was on, <laughs> I saw a little girl <clears throat> coming down here. In the airport, she had light, light sandy brown hair, and, <clears throat> and she must have been rejoicing. It must have been her first time getting ready to fly. Had her hair in a ponytail, light sandy brown hair, and a brunette ponytail in the back. Mm. Uh -huh. Just got all, all two-toned up there. <laughs> we teach our women to love the way God made you. That's right. Amen. If God gave it to you, you love it. That's right. What did he say? Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. All right. But every woman, every woman that prayeth or prophesieth with her head uncovered, what? dishonoreth her head. Now, uncovered means bareheaded. That's right. You are born with a covering. That's right. That's right. You're born with a covering. That's right. Covering is hair, mm -hmm. but covering is incomplete. That's right. So here, if a woman pray a promise out of the head uncovered, uncovered, I don't mean she doing this bald headed. No, no. I don't <laughs> mean she doing this bald headed. <laughs> That's right. That's that right. means that her head 
is bare, but yet she have a covering. That's right. If it's winter time and it's cold out there and your daughter want to go out there and play, mama said, look, don't you go out there with nothing on your head, cover your head. Cover it. That's right. Come in here, let me comb your hair. You're combing the covering. That's right. But if she go outside with nothing on her head, the covering is bareheaded. That's right. The covering is uncovered. That's it. That's right. Covering means incomplete. That's right. Listen. But every woman that prayeth or prophesies with her head uncovered, bareheaded, dishonoreth her head. It is out of her head. For that is even all. Uh, even Let, all. When you don't have nothing on your head. That is even as if. As if she were shaving. You are shaving. For if the woman is not baby, covered. And you think Paul was telling you, put hair on. No, no. He's dealing with actually having something on your head. That's right. And he let you know that if you wish up God with nothing on your head, Honest. it is in God's eyes as if you cut your hair off. That's right. That's how serious it is to God. That's right. Listen. For if the woman be not covered. If the woman be not covered. Let her also be shorn. Then what? But if it be a shame. If it's a shame. For a woman to be shorn or shaven. a woman to be shorn. Or shaven. Or shaven. Let her be covered. Let her be covered. Now down in 1 Corinthians chapter 14. Uh, rather 1 Corinthians chapter 11 at verse 15. All right. That if a woman have long hair. If a woman have long hair. It is a glory to her. Why? For her hair is given her for a covering. 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 Not it covers. That's right. Covering. covering. Incomplete. How is that, Pastor Jennings? If me and Santana is laying carpet. Mm -hmm. One of the sisters come in here and say, what y'all doing, Pastor Jennings? And I tell her, we are covering the floor. That's right. Come back in 30 minutes. The floor will be covered. That's right. That's right. Two different words. Mm -hmm. yeah. Two different meanings. That's right. Covering the floor. Mm -hmm. It's incomplete. Right. Come back in 30 minutes. The floor will be what? Covered. Mm -hmm. If it's covered, it's hidden. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Covering. It's not hit. That's right. It's incomplete. Mm -hmm. You blind preachers. Your hair's your covering. You don't need to have nothing on your head. Your bishop is a liar. But every woman. Tell your bishop I say so. When you go back home, call him. Tell him that crazy man that, you, that we talk about on YouTube. He's here. He said you a liar. Tell the women you ain't got to cover your head. That's if right. You, if you in the church and you don't, women are taught not to have your head covered. You in a false church false because church. you dishonor God mm -hmm. and you dishonor the man and also you dishonor the angels. That's Let right. Let me show you that. In First Corinthians chapter eleven and at verse ten. That's what. For this cause, for this reason, of the woman to have power to have what power, power on her head because of what because of the angels. Hallelujah. You have your head covered. That's a symbol of power, power. that shows respect to the man That's and right. shows respect to angels in heaven. That's right. That's right. Wonderful. Somebody, you a preacher and your wife walking around bareheaded in church. That's right. You a deacon, bareheaded in church. Children are all bareheaded. Amen. Why are you in some Pentecostal church? That's, that's, that's not a Pentecostal church. It's the church of the devil. But every woman that prayeth or prophesies. Every woman that prayeth. And the Bible said we ought to always pray. That's right. Ought to always do it. That's right. Ought to always pray and not to faint. Mm -hmm. Our women and children don't walk the street with their head uncovered. Amen. Our children don't go to school with their head uncovered. That's right. They're not even in the gym with gym shorts and bareheaded. Mm -hmm. No, sir. Any job our women have. They got to have the head covered. That's right. Even if it's against company policy, when the company says you can't do it, we send a letter uh -huh, pointing out scripture. Yeah. And our belief. Mm -hmm. And you make an attempt to fire any of us, then we'll take you to court for not respecting our religious rights. That's right. Yeah. Say what you want about the Amish. Say what you want about the Muslim. At least they covered. Covered. You don't get a fight, but from so-called Christian heathens. Amen. My hair. I can't think of covering my hair. Cover my hair. Cover that stuff up. Amen. And give God your glory. That's right. Your long hair is a glory unto you, so you cover up that glory appearance and give your glory to God. That's right. That's 
just like a man. If a man got long hair, you're an embarrassment. That's an embarrassment. Let's just show this. First Corinthians 11 and verse 14. Come on, son. Doeth not even nature itself Doeth teach not you? Nature teach you. That if a man have long hair. Here you got ponytail deacons. Yeah. Ponytail choir members. Mm -hmm. Ponytail young men in church. Hair sticking up twisted like buckwheat. That's right. All on the quiet. Do you hear the Bible talking? You're with not even nature itself. This is not you. even taught in church no more. Amen. Ponytail preachers running revivals. Yeah. Yeah. Can you imagine? Yeah. People will sit in the church and a man with a ponytail, ponytail. running revival? <laughs> That's right. And you're talking about he's anointed, he's a sissy. Do with not even nature itself teach you? When the Bible said, do if not nature teach you, that means do not common sense teach you. That if a man have long hair, it is a shame unto him. Why are you not ashamed, deacon? Amen. Why are you not ashamed, pastor? That's right. The pastor's son. That's right. Directing the choir with dreadlocks. Amen. Musicians on the choir. Musicians beating drums, playing the piano, right. dreadlocks. That's right. That's right. Ponytails. Ponytails. So-called holy sanctified men with a man bun. <laughs> Amen. Uh, these, these men, these, you men want to be so like women. Yeah. What's happening to our men? That's right. The men borrow bobby pins from their sister. Mm -hmm. Sister in one mirror, brother in back of her. Yeah. <laughs> move over. I want to move. I want to use the mirror. Move over. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Fixing up your man bun. Do it not even nature itself you teach you? You're a disgrace. You're a, that's why they hate Pastor Jennings. Oh, I'm not on no salary. I wasn't voted by a board of directors. I'm a working preacher. That's right. That's why I can go in anybody's house, kick your door down, and bring your God word, whether you like it or not. That's right. You young men that's gone through these false churches who trying to be some little understudy preacher and taking little Bible courses, you will never be a preacher. No. Anytime you taking these cheap so-called Bible courses and being trained by an organization, you will never stand up for God because you will have fear of violating the organizational rule book. That's right. This is our rule book right here. That's right. Huh? Amen. Glory to God. Amen. He loved this program. Thank God. He, he, he fills this program up on his website and points the people to the truth of God.